Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 9th of 2023 well, it is titled the Egg Nebula in Polarized Light. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is the, known as the Egg Nebula and what might be hatching out of the Egg Nebula. Well, it's actually in the process of forming two things. The central portion is being compacted down to become a white dwarf star, a very compact star about the size of Earth, but still the mass of a star. And that is actually hidden here behind the dust. And that is the inner portion. This is what our sun will eventually do in a several billion years when it reaches the end of its life. So as that continues, the outer layers are expanded outward and become larger and larger. In this case, enveloping about one light year across. So not only filling the solar system, but for our sun, for our sun, we'll be filling a decent way of decent percentage of the way to the nearest star. Now, this is the early stage, kind of a pre-planetary nebula phase before the actual planetary nebula has had a chance to form. We can see how the outer layers are expelled out, not all at once, but in different stages. And that's because of instabilities in the star as it reaches the end of its life. It becomes a very unstable star and any pulsations can actually push out outer layers of the star and expel them out into space. The star becomes so large that those outer layers are very loosely held by gravity. Gravity. So it doesn't take a tremendous instability to start pushing them outward. And we see that here. Now the colors that we see are color coded specifically to show the polarization of this. The polarization, the direction of the light that we see is different as the light is scattered off of dust grain. So as the light comes through these, depending on the uh, pattern of each dust grains can polarize the light, meaning that it's coming in specific directions and it will have a certain orientation to it. So normally light has all sorts of random orientations between zero and 360 degrees. Polarized light can have very specific uh, wave uh, very specific forms and can be blocked out. That's why I use polarized sunglasses are adjusted so that light that is polarized cannot get through them because it's vibrating in the wrong direction to be able to get through the polarizing lenses. Well, polarization is used out in space to be able to study some of these and we can see that different areas of this nebula are in different states of polarization. So we have some in the purple there to the lower left and the upper right, whereas we have the green to the upper left and the lower right. So different states of polarization telling us something about the dust grains that are causing this within this nebula. So that was our picture of the day for April 9th of 2023. It was titled the egg nebula in polarized light. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be big chicken. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.